Don't do it how that it was. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another Mark Ashen video. Time for some language tips. So you just heard this uh, weird expression and you're like, what are you saying? So that's an Arabic expression, specifically uh, used in Lebanon. Kif make. Literally means how that it was. Now, before I explain it, I want to cover those little expressions and words. We have to start with ma and ken to understand them separately. So let's jump right in. First, we have the term ma. Now, ma can be used as a negative term. Ma. Ma fi. There isn't. Ma bidde. I don't want. So far, so good? Okay. All right, so if I tell you ma baddak, we'll know now that it means you don't want. But if I say shu ma baddak, suddenly that means whatever you want. Literally means what that you want, literally, which translates as whatever you want. So this is where the ma now has a different meaning. And that meaning is that, which, shuma baddak, whichever, whatever you want. Mitl ma'am ilkun, just as I'm telling you. So ma becomes kind of a that, as, which, bad ma, after which, abil ma, before which, abil ma truh, before that you go. In English, we just say before you go. But in Arabic, we have to have that man there. Before that, you go. So those are the uses of ma. And if you're from the north, ma has a third use also. It's the replacement of am. I am, the ing progressive tense. Typically, in Lebanon, we'll say, shu am ta'mil, what are you doing? But some of my relatives in the north of Lebanon will say, shu ma ta'mil, shu ma ta'mil, what are you doing? Mayul, instead of am biul, mayul. Now that that makes sense, we can move on to Ken. Ken. Was, literally. Ken fi shi honig. There was something there. Ma ken fi hada. There was no one. So that's the negation. But if I say kif ma ken, as I was telling you, that's gonna mean however it was. It's to mean something that wasn't like done properly. Kif ma ken. Shu ma ken is another one. Whatever it was. What that it was. Anything. You get the expression? Fimtul mana? Nia. Okay. There are other instances where the sound ken is going to show up. For example, lakin. Careful, because lakin is however in standard Arabic. But in Lebanese Arabic, it sometimes means then. So then what do we do? Lakin shu. Then what? So that's not related to ken, meaning was. We have another expression also. Lauken. Lauken. That literally means if it was. لو كان في كنت أكلت If there was, I would have eaten But it also means something like So what? ولو كان and so what? Or even if ولو كان, even if, even so Which is kind of a short form of حتى لو كان Even if it was, even so So you can add that to your library We also have مين مكان Whoever it was, anyone مين مين نقي مين مكان Anyone, whoever it was So you get the pattern, you have kif makin, shu makin, and min makin. And of course, lau ken, all of which are unrelated to lakin, shu lakin. Which, by the way, shu lakin can be used to mean, of course, shu lakin, of course, what then? There you go, some quick Arabic language tips. Let me know if you have any requests or anything on your mind you'd like me to cover. And if you want full Lebanese Arabic immersive lessons, check it out on Patreon. We have beginner lessons at $10 a month. $15 a month we have intermediate and $20 a month we have the advanced lessons. By the way, the intermediate lessons also give you access to the beginner ones. The advanced lessons give you access to the whole thing, full package. And you save 15% when you sign up for a whole year. If you're trying to connect with Lebanon and the Middle East, these lessons are for you. So check it out now and you're not going to regret it. Thank you all as usual for watching another Mark Hashem video. Do not forget to like and share. And subscribe if you're new. And if you like everything related to Lebanon, Middle East, culture and education, with a nice touch of entertainment. Thanks again for watching another Mark Ashen video. And we'll see you next time. Take care. This is a rising picture. Duh.